what's going on everyone so i'm back again with another video and today i'm going to show you what i made so if you haven't seen my previous video i essentially said i'm going to learn code so essentially html and css to start off with and i've actually been moving around to a new place and it doesn't have wi-fi at the moment of this video so i've been pretty busy can't really post too much but um this actually you, i found out you don't actually need wi-fi to do HTML and CSS, at least simple things, but I go to the coffee shop here and there, but obviously I'm not gonna record myself at the coffee shop. But I figured, hey, I actually finished this little project, so I figured I'd record you, show you what I've done in the past, maybe what, like two weeks or so, I'm not too sure how long it is, but basically, if you haven't seen the other video I showcased how to make this design, I'll put that in the link in the bio, you can click on that and see this. And I pretty much made this uh, original design in Adobe XD. So here it is, and I had like the the curve variation, but as far as coding, I only knew how to do with like the flat part. But so here's the thing I, I created. I made an entire tutorial showing you how I did exactly this design. So if you want to see how I did that just design wise, you can click in the description for that. And pretty much you can see here, this is a simple startup style, like uh, agency, I guess, style websites. And I took some of the ideas from pretty popular websites. And this is pretty common with the... Uh, facts and like illustration and then uh, pretty much email sign up and then footer so here you see this this isn't a design i actually made this entire website with html and css so may you figure out how to do this in within like the two weeks i've started learning and you can see here as far as the functionality obviously can't really click on anything but as far as display i'd say it looks pretty similar to what i uh created minus i, I switched up some of the um pictures couldn't remember where I found the actual file, but you can see here I changed this out too. But you get the point, pretty much the same concept and uh, got down here. And then the uh, since I don't have Wi-Fi when I'm filming this, the icons I use wouldn't load up properly. So I just like, I just removed it and then just created this. But get this, check this out. So if I uh, go over here, I made it mobile responsive as well. Now note my code is not super clean. Obviously, you know, I'm just learning. I'm sure people out there have much better ways to uh, make it mobile responsive, but I'm just trying to do this with what I have. And also fun thing is when I'm learning code without Wi-Fi is I'm very, very limited to what I studied on a course or I have only can use my phone to look up something. So if I can't figure it out, I'll just start making something that looks like it works and so far i mean it looks pretty decent but uh obviously there's better ways to make it um, cleaner but pretty much when i scroll you can see here once it gets to a certain width it'll actually this illustration will disappear so boom right here and then once it gets pretty much to the end mobile it looks like this and then same section here so i can show you this part took me forever to figure out it's not the cleanest obviously i might just like remove it but um basically like once it gets to this, it'll like wrap under it and then you keep pushing it in. And then uh, the the illustrations disappear. So like the sizing was part, this part is not the best I'd say um, in terms of uh, like smoothness. But again, obviously, you know, I'm still learning so I can't really be too crazy on it. But here, basically on this part, the difference was uh, the illustration disappears here. So you can see, let me do on both. And then go and boom, it disappears right there. So this, um, this breakpoint goes like that. And then same thing with the email. On mobile, I decided to do this just for fun and it just goes full width so that when you scroll like that. And then the footer, basically the um, this little like description disappears here and then the font size shrinks. So as far as like a, a visual, I sort of had the idea of how the mobile responsive and like tablet look. Obviously I have to know better ways to do it and make it smoother, but as far as start, I feel like that's you know pretty solid. And I managed to do this pretty much from scratch, like no tutorial. There's literally no tutorial on YouTube that tell you how to make a website that I literally designed myself. So I had to figure out like certain things and how to do each section. And also cool, I forgot to the um, the header up here, the menu. When I go over, it turns into the uh, the hamburger menu. And I know just JavaScript that you can make it animate and like actually work, but I haven't got that far yet. But uh, that's what I to show you here. So. Um, Pretty much here's the um, HTML and uh, I just started like freestyling like certain things like style sheets. I saw like one course where they separated their CSS, but uh, I was like, you know what? Let me just see what I can do here to make it cleaner. And note, if you are first time on my channel watching this video, basically 
I've been talking myself learning about UX UI design and also learning code as well. So if you want to join below and follow me along this journey, then go down below and hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. But let me just go through the code really quickly. And if anyone's an expert out there, let me know things I could change, things I could fix, because feedback is always welcome. And for now, I mean, I feel like it's much better than me just going through courses because I feel like people who are starting to code, they can go for weeks watching a course and can't even code like a header menu from scratch. So that's one thing I wanted to get away from and just straight build a project and why not build something I made here. So uh, basically, uh, this is gonna be like super beginner friendly, but here, this is the font I added Montserrat. And then here's the um, font awesome CDN, which essentially means if I had Wi-Fi, the um, icons like on here, they're supposed to show up the little arrow. But since it's not, my internet's out right now, I'm just recording this like without Wi-Fi, then um, you can't really see it. But uh, here, yeah, that looks like, yeah. And then pretty much, you know, typical HTML and CSS if you've seen it. So here's the nav, so the menu. And the way I, I classify and divided things, I just freestyled that as well to what I think makes sense. But I've seen a lot of people do completely different things when I'm watching courses. So I'm like confused in that sense of like when's the best time to put a div, classify it. But I mean, so far it, it did end up with this final product. So I mean, it still worked, but obviously someone who has much more experience could clean up the code and make it look better. And this, I just got this from like a video, but uh, pretty much you can see here, the main section, you know, you got the, um, text right there. This is the illustration when I, um, this one right here. And then if I go down, you can see the testimonial section. So I'm not gonna go too crazy into the HTML CSS. If you wanna pause it and look at what I typed, feel free. And if you want me to make this from scratch, like entirely the way I did this, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But just note that obviously there's better ways to code it. And then I'm just gonna scroll through really quickly in case people wanna check out my code, let me know if anything I can improve. And we go down here. This is the, um, like down here, that section, email section here. And then um, I had the icons inputted, but like you can't see them. So like when I open it up, I had all the icons downloaded. I thought it would work, but since my internet's out, I can't do that. But yeah, pretty much here. And then it's a footer right there. So nothing crazy. And then I uh, basically style. It's like the main uh, like style. So pretty much the main just of the website design and then i have i believe i have mobile responsive somewhere yeah down here and i think this is for like the first sections and then it got to the point where like you see how much i have to scroll just to like figure out what i'm doing so i just basically changed it so for instance like the footer it's all in this tab right here so when i'm doing mobile responsive editing all i need to do is look on this tab and i can see everything for footer so i want to change something from responsive is right there Email section right here is all right there. Responsive, um, I think, yeah, man. Yeah, so this is this part right here. This part was tough. I still don't know. Um, I, I couldn't, I can't remember what site I took this like design style from. So I couldn't remember or see what they actually did in terms of um, responsiveness for mobile. But for like the actual um, desktop, like this is what it looks like. But I was just freestyling for this one, just practicing this. And this one was Z index and like you had to change like the um, top left positioning. Pretty difficult um, from scratch without any like expertise in it. But you know, I mean, not bad for just doing it first time. And then basically that's pretty much it. So um, nothing too crazy, nothing fancy. But let me know um, if you did notice certain ways or much easier ways to make this mobile responsive. Because I'll probably have to watch more um, content on that in the future. But I'll say this is what I man managed to do in the past two weeks from literally zero knowledge of code. So I'm sure people have been watching code out there for like months and they probably couldn't be, um, couldn't even make a website from scratch. So definitely if you're in that phase, just start building, like literally look at a website, like design something simple and then just try to code it. So this one's basically your menu item. So it's like a rectangle visual, visualize that right there. Then you got essentially a square here, another square, and then another giant uh, square, uh, well, that's kind of like a rectangle is there. And then some more rectangles here. And then this is like, this is a little more um, stuff you watch, but it's pretty simple. Once I actually started learning the concept, like how to look at designs and go about it. But so far it's pretty uh, basic, nothing too fancy website. I'm pretty sure anyone with basic HTML CSS could code this fairly easy. 
but uh, eventually I want to get to the point where I can code a lot more fancy stuff but we'll see as far as my schedule and what I'm working on if I can continue going in on the code or am I going to focus more on the design route but definitely let me know what you think about this comment down below if you're also learning code or design and let's connect hit a subscribe button give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video peace